Hello guys, I hope you are good today and uh, we will focus on the new plugin Realflow for Cinema 4D. We will learn today to do a crown. There is already videos on the official Realflow and uh, another YouTube video. Uh, but I will do my own video to show you the possibilities of this plugin and um, because it's uh, very uh, in the mood to create an image like that or image like that that you can find on our Instagram um, MHS prod. Uh, I pronounce it in French, but uh, I think uh, you, you will like to pronounce it in uh, English. So uh, we will uh, see uh, in action uh, how to do uh, this, and this uh, will not be a full or uh, very specific tutorial because I've already done a lot of uh, videos for the standalone rule flow free. Uh, free formations uh, in French so uh, for a short amount of time I'm doing uh, we are doing on our channel uh, content in French and in English but we are mostly French if you're new to the channel MHS Stuts you can watch English content or French content uh, which is very cool for you if you don't like French uh, you just have the French accent but I try to speak English for you so we will start right now uh, and see how powerful is the new Realfo plugin so as I said this will not be a complicated tutorial this will just focus on how work a crown and this is for all the beginners to and the people who cares about how uh, this plugin works because if you buy it you have full uh, content to learn it and I think uh, this is very cool to, to see uh, official videos so uh, we can start right now just to see uh, how to create a little scene so uh, in real flow we have the scene option which is similar to the x particle xp system which is very nice because you have all uh, the hierarchy uh, with all the elements and uh, this is a very nice things because everything is inside C4D and when uh, for example you will create an emitter this emitter will be just added uh, in the scene and the fluid will be created the fluid is linked to the emitter and uh, you have a default setup which is uh, uh, not so bad and when you create for example a measure the measure is uh, linked to the fluid so uh, this plugin is very well optimized uh, in terms of workflow is it's new so uh, some things are a bit unstable but this is very nice for what is it what it is at this moment so we will just uh, create a little scene and see how to create a simple crown i'm just making uh, the same thing uh, as you can see on the other YouTube tutorial uh, using different stuff but um, very basic uh, stuff so uh, I will create this uh, small sphere and I will use um, an emitter called uh, fill emitter uh, I do this because uh, this uh, uh, is an option to show how the fill emitter work because you can use to the sphere with uh, directly the um, will flow collider tag and make a collision with the sphere but with the emitter I can drop any object and have uh, it filed by particles which is really nice because in uh, the standalone when you want to use more complex objects like uh, for example this or um, model the shapes you need to export an obj and uh, then do the stuff in the standalone and then put it back in c4d right now you can do it all 
in C4D. So I, I love the way it works. So uh, I have right now my um, my fluid uh, which is doing nothing. So which is really nice is that I have all my uh, motion design demands because uh, we don't all have all the demons that we have in the standalone, but most of the demon used for very simple scenes are uh, in this plugin. So if I want gravity, I just add gravity. Gravity is just linked uh, directly from uh, the good uh, fluid. So right now I have my uh, simulation with a small uh, very cool display of um, of this. You can see this is very um, uh, dark, and when uh, they move, they are more and more uh, white. This is uh, do uh, controlled by the velocity. So you have uh, interactive uh, display, like uh, if you want, you have the same in X particle. So uh, I will create a little uh, cube like this, this which uh, it's going to be a container like uh, in the other YouTube tutorial and I will delete the upper face uh, by hitting uh, the delete uh, key and I can add another uh, emitter called the simple square emitter and which is nice uh, is uh, in uh, the old real flow version when I've done my latest uh, tutorials you need to fill that object and do an initial state and complex stuff right now is very simple because you have volume emission and you can uh, do like a pre-run of um, an emission and it stops emitting you just define a start volume and so uh, I will just fill this and uh, this will not emit more particles and this will do my, my uh, simulation and I love the, the way it's more simple now because after it was a pain in the ass. So I will uh, go in my upper view and just uh, I will just make this uh, the uh, cube um, size and then I will go here and here and go here go at the beginning and as you see this will a bit too uh, large so I will just go uh, 30 and I will right click on this and add a collider and now if I run my simulation so I will just have a bit less volume emission and now when I run my simulation as you see the particles interact and uh, this is very nice I have a bit too uh, more uh, volumes because maybe some particles are uh, going from the, the surface but that's not a, a really big problem from uh, that moment and from for what we are showing today so uh, you have these cool effects and what we want we want particles that go uh, from any uh, kind of directions that's called um, uh, crown emitter so I will go on crown and I will uh, just put it a bit upper put a bit more strength and uh, creation time is going to be the time where my crown will be created. I can go on crown shape, click edit and if I go on model I can select how far my crown will go, orient orientation 
and stuff like that like in the real flow standalone and now if i click play i will have my crown so actually we see nothing that's maybe because my crown is too high and because i don't have set uh, the correct values on creation time so i will just hit 1.05 and oh sorry my strength was by far too uh, weak and now you will see when you have a creation time uh, between 0 and 5 my crown is uh, having uh, effect before my sphere is hitting the ground so I will take for example 1.02 and it's going to be uh, better and now um, you see my crown is happening a little bit after the collision and uh, this is a very nice crown effect maybe a bit too large but we will not focus on how to fix it because in simulation when you know how to do it the, uh, all the stuff is just tricking to have the good look and the uh, good uh, have the good uh, looking uh, you want so if you want a different shape just go here if you want uh, different surface different spike count uh, width if you want a smaller crown that's uh, that's all the things uh, we can uh, do in um, with that so that's cool so we will now uh, focus on uh, a bit of meshing it's a very simple you just go on mesher and uh, you have a default mesh with which is uh, very nice to watch uh, what your simulation looks like uh, when you are doing complex stuff i invite you to go to uh, build mesh and cache all your frames because this is a very cheap uh, looking and uh, you need uh, to have great looking to cache the simulation uh, for the tutorial this is uh, <laughs> a nice but for real you need to go to medium medium height play a bit with thinning relaxing and uh, build mesh so when you click build mesh you will have um, a mesh cached uh, so you will, you will have very um, longer simulation but a lot more lot 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 more uh, cool simulation so right now i have my simulation uh, which is uh, looking uh, nice for what it is because uh, that's a very crappy um, liquid but uh, if i add a simple sky you will see that uh, sorry uh, it looks uh, nice and that, that's uh, very cool to have directly inside of c4d uh, all the the real flow stuff uh, because uh, it was uh, very complex and hard for all the beginners or people new to real flow to create uh, different stuff using real flow um, acting uh, with uh, simulation cache the frame use the initial state uh, take care about the scene um, scene values and different now it's just like uh, it's a part of the of c4d and the result uh, looks uh, nice uh, as you see in uh, minutes i have uh, the beginning of simulation so when you work on more serious jobs you have uh, uh, now more time to create and focus uh, as i said uh, you can create uh, very fun uh, shapes very easily and um, for design and uh, stuff that's uh, cool uh, cool ideas so i hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and it was more a show uh, of uh, what uh, the flow um, can do but uh, you may 
maybe learn to outdo uh, the crown, which is uh, cool. I invite you to join us on our personal Instagram to have different renders, and maybe you will have questions uh, on a picture how we have done, uh, for example, that. You have tutorial, for example, uh, on our channel. MHS Tuts with French and English content, as you see, very, very great tutorials. You can join us in the uh, Motion Designers Community Facebook group. This is mostly a French group, but you have uh, English people and you can talk, share, work. Uh, that's cool. You can join us too on our page uh, at MHS Prod. Uh, to see different works that we are doing uh, besides the tutorials you can join to uh, if you want uh, that's a French page but you have all the actual uh, news for C4D plugins you can join to uh, my Instagram motion designers to see uh, community renders for all the people using the hashtag MD community as you see very very a lot of great artists and content and you can go uh, on um, on it and uh, post uh, your picture so i hope you like these short videos uh, i invite you if you are a real flow user to follow the official tutorials uh, this one was more uh, to show you a specific uh, use and maybe for the people who don't have the plugin uh, to see how it works and uh, how good it is so uh, see you next next times i'm see you next time oh, it's, uh, and uh, you can uh, leave me uh, comment for the good French accent. Uh, I think I will enjoy it a lot. See you